Yo, what's up guys? It's the Goblin, and today I'm bringing you guys a triple mob with 100 kill specialist gameplay on the map Sea Town. Playing some 6v6 domination using my favorite class setup in the game, which is the P90 with the silencer and rapid fire. The reason I run this silencer obviously stay off the minimap, stay stealthy when you're rushing the enemy spawn, and rapid fire just for the inc increased fire rate to be able to kill your enemies quicker at close range. You know, win those hit fire battles and be able to beat those guys who are going for the knives or going for the shotgun kills. And that's simply why I use this class and why this is my favorite class in the game. So this is a gameplay that I got quite a while ago, two to three weeks ago, maybe in my live stream. I'll leave a link down in the description. So if you go click on that, that'll bring you to the live stream. And this uh, gameplay starts an hour and ten minutes into the live stream. So you guys can watch this live and see our reactions uh, when we got this gameplay. Triple Moab. I actually pick up the Triple Moab at about 160 kills, or 160 points in domination, sorry. Which means that I did kind of have time for quad. I tried, I got killed a couple times, and I couldn't get it. And these enemies in this game were absolutely horrible. I mean... Obviously, if you get a 100 kill specialist in 6v6 and a triple mob and it's not on dome, the enemies aren't going to be the best. So, I just keep that in mind. These guys weren't the best at all. Uh, I'm not playing against any pro players getting a triple mob or anything. Uh, yeah, so more about this gameplay is basically what you want to do on C-Town is keep them in C-Domination. I talk about that lots on my channel and you guys probably know that. So, that's not really going to be the topic of this video. The topic is more going to be how to get multiple moabs in a game, how to get those double moabs, how to get those triple moabs, and how to get long gun streaks. It's so basically how I decide if the game is like, say your domination is at like 110, 120 points, and I pick up my first moab, just a regular domination, I'm going to get myself killed, I'm going to go for that double moab. And the reason for that is I want to try and get double moab. If the gameplay is already at 140, 150 points where I don't think I'll have time to get a double moab, then I'm just going to try and go for a long gun streak, and that's basically how I do my game place but say you're trying to get your first ever double moab or your triple moab for the triple moab what i like to put the limitations on are you want to get the first moab by 75 points in domination i don't know if i do that in this game but if you get the first moab by 75 points in domination get the second one you got to speed up a little bit by like 130 you should have time to pick up the triple by the end i mean a triple mob is definitely not easy no matter what the circumstances are and uh, but if you do follow those steps you should be able to pick up a triple moab uh, if, if you play the game well and that sort of stuff if you're going for a double moab, you can take your time, right? It only takes half the game to, uh, you have up to 100 points if you want to get two moabs. That's how I like to take it. You know, take the first half of the gameplay to get the first mob, and then the second half you can slow it down a little bit. And that's usually how I like to fare on double mobs. The first mob, I'm just going to be rushing all out. And if I get the first mob rushing, you know, I'll sit back a little bit on the second mob and uh, keep them there and, you know, be able to pick up that second mob to have the double mob. So if you guys don't know, I like to on my channel upload, you know, beastly gameplays, high score in gameplays and I like to give tips and tricks on different maps different gun setups and I've talked about this map many times you why you want to keep them on C domination I actually have three triple moabs now on my channel this is my third and um, this two of them were on C town one of them on dome all 6v6 I think this gameplay might actually be the first 100 kill specialist 6v6 game that is not on dome and uh, I also have one or two more 100 kill games on dome which uh, I think I have on my channel but yeah this gameplay pretty impressive I think obviously the enemies aren't the best Hopefully you guys do enjoy it because this gameplay only lasts about nine minutes because we can't beat on right off the start and we just go ham on these guys uh, and I think and, uh, one of my teammates picks up a mob as well. I'm not sure if he has time to call it in. I think he might near the end there and uh, I just clutch it out for the 100 kills. The final score of this game is like 109 and uh, playing with some of my friends and subs in my live stream like I usually do. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So more about the class setup and why I enjoy this class so much. I already went over the attachments but the P90 it just seems like it's such a fast killing gun at close range. I mean, look at these guys. They're dropping so quickly when I'm on a four bar. And when you have good connection, obviously you need good connection to play well in this game. And once you have a good connection with the P90, I find that this gun is great. Along with the MP9 silencer, which I run the MP9 to win those long range gun fights, which I've talked about. You know, I've talked about many of these things uh, on my channel before. The other thing that really helped me out in this gameplay and that I definitely recommend is picking up a gaming headset. When these, I don't think many of these enemies are using dead silence. And when they're not using dead silence, you can hear them coming from all which directions especially on a map like sea town and this guy oh one more pistol bullet, and i would have been dead there so obviously you do get lucky as well but if you're using a headset on this map uh, i think i was using sit, sit rep pro in this gameplay that's what i usually start out with 
With Sitrep Pro, you can hear the enemies coming from all sorts of directions over by C Domination and over by A Dom. And you know, that's kind of how the headset works is on different maps, it fares differently. And depending on what, you know, if they're walking on grass, if they're walking on concrete, whatever sand, it'll depend on how well you can hear the enemies. And I found that find that C Town is a great map for hearing the enemies. And how I do the trip mob is obviously I pick up my Moab and then I just let the enemies kill me. And here I'm trying to get killed so I can have the chance of the third one. So I try and get killed by this nade. Doesn't work because I have all the perks. And then, I, like I said, I could have had the quad Moab this game. I'm still going for my first quad Moab. I think I might be going for that a little bit uh, in, in a stream or something like that. Because I think the quad Moab is definitely attainable, but the game you'll have to play has to be pretty much perfect. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. I'm going to cut it out and play some music on right here. If you guys did enjoy this gameplay, please, please, please give this video a like and a favorite if you can as well. And leave me a comment on what you thought. If everyone could give this video a like that's viewing it, that would just be, you know, that would be the most insane thing ever and I love you guys for all that so let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes on this thing and I'll, I'll be out if you guys are new here remember to subscribe you know I upload lots of beastly gameplays with tips and as always subscribe for cookie I'm out peace Okay, here we go. Freestyle Friday number nine. Now, before you jump the gun on anything, this is supposed to be like a house party type song like 2004, so sing along when you can. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me owe. Oh, just let me owe. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me owe. Oh, just let me owe. That clock Keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go Owers and tastemakers make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors Madman, uh, old ten times rapers Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow go. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go, go. Holler at the tens and spend a little dough Not on them, no can buy their own drinks Shit that work week off Five days in the bucket Fuck it, you got a boss Who's a jerk Who doesn't Oh, want some Wu-Tang Bring the motherfucking ruckus There is no pretext We are living and we love it On a budget, never mind We just nudge it to the side Give the kids a little time We are living till we die Focused and we hustle But we still be getting high No exception to the rule Do what you do to get by Cause I keep ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me To get me home But my balls keep telling me To let me out just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go At a house party getting jammed up You were Tony Anza When they ask who's the fucking boss, put your hand up Never put it down cause you're banging to the handsome 2010 trend, put the iPod on random Wonder why I try to play this instead of handsome Probably cause it gets the people moving like a handgun Just like the little white fellas up in M. Happy Easter from the motherfuckers living in the mansion Yeah, Freestyle Friday number 9 Thanks to Ratatat for letting me steal their beat It's very kind of them, they're nice guys Anyway, happy uh, Easter weekend, I guess. I'm about to go up to Philly. I'll tell you why I chose this beat. I was driving around. It was real sunny the other day. It made me feel like it was like a Sunday morning after church as a little kid when my pepper used to buy me and my sister Slurpees. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Yeah. Good job. I'm good. You want more kills? Oh.